Hi, I'm Abul Mansur from India and most welcome to Graphic Island Tutorial. In this video, we'll create a new logo design using Adobe Illustrator CC. So let's get started. First, we'll start with the text tool. So from the toolbar, select this text tool and now write the logo title. Now drag it using Shift and Alt key and make the size bigger. Drag it again using Alt key and make a duplicate. Drag it down using Shift and Alt key and make the size smaller. And double click and edit the text. Here write Program, Programming. And now select both and go to the character option. Here you'll find the font. So I'm choosing this font. You can note down this name and you can download from the Google search. This is a free font you can download. So I'm selecting this font. Now let me drag it down using Shift and Alt key again to make the size more smaller and take this one here. So here we'll increase the gap in between the text. So select the text and go to the character option. Here you can see the character option. If you don't find this option, then you can go to the window and here you'll find everything. Let me click on this character option and from here uh, we'll increase the gap in between the text. To increase the gap in between the text here, I'll provide the value here. So let me give 50 and enter. You can see the gap has increased a little. So we want to increase a little more. Let me give 80, enter. So this much is fine. And for this one also, we'll increase the gap in between the text. Let me give 30. Okay, let's give 50. So 50 is fine. Why I am giving the gap in between the text? Because when you will uh, make the design smaller, though the text will be visible, it will not uh, seem like overlapping to one another, and it will be more clearly visible when you will drag it down. Now, let me take this one here and take this one at the center. Now go to object and here expand it. Once you expand it, this font will no longer in font format. It, it will convert into an object. Now the text is converted into an object. Now if you double click also, you can't uh, edit the text like you can't change the text because already it is in, in uh, object format. Now select this one, object, and ungroup it. So after ungrouping, all the text is separated here, you can see. Now place this one at the down of this text. Make sure it is aligning to the end of K. Put some gap here and you can drag it using shift key and take this one up to here and take it more down so we need to make this text more smaller but it's supposed to reach up to here so what i'll do i'll go to the character option and here instead of 50 i'll give 150 and I'll drag it again down. Now from the toolbar, select this rectangular tool and draw a rectangle from here to here. Let me drag it down. Now select it and select this direct selection tool select this point and this point using shift key and drag towards upward now select this one 
do right click arrange send to back and let's change the color so that this color and the text color will not mismatch we can easily identify the object now select this one object path offset path here we'll give negative offset so let's give 20 minus 20 and check so it is coming up to here but this width should match up with the text so what I'll do I'll increase the negative offset here and now you can see this width and this one is matching and okay let's change the color now select this one object path offset path here instead of minus 50 let's give minus 10 and check so here we'll leave some gap here okay and let's change this new object to this color now select this one drag it using alt key and let's change the color let's drag it from this side and make the size smaller now select this one and this one go to pathfinder option and do minus front select this one and this one go to pathfinder and do minus front select this and go to object path offset path here give positive offset give 20 and check so we need a gap here up to this much click ok now select this new offset and this object now take shape builder tool by pressing alt key delete here let's take this one little up using upward arrow key on your keyboard and place here so this should this corner should match up with this now take this rectangular tool and from here by putting some gap here down you can draw a rectangle like this now select this one and these two object using shift key take shape builder tool by pressing alt key delete this and this and delete this one take this rectangular tool once again and here draw a small rectangle like this so this will form a small gap here select this tool go to pathfinder and click on minus front now from here select this pan tool and from the center we can draw a curve like this remove this fill color give outline only now select this one increase the width of the outline select this one and take up to here match up with the width of this so here we need to increase the width little more so that it can match up with the width of this now it seems perfect 
now take this direct selection tool select this point and take this one up to here manipulate this curve like this we can take this one here little and you can also use the smooth tool over it to make the curve more smoother so that it will look more nicer now object and expand it now take this rectangular tool and here cut the shape up to here and select this one take shape builder tool by using alt key we can delete this portion let's take this one little down using down arrow key now it seems perfect now take this rectangular tool and here draw a rectangle up to this take this one down now select this one take direct selection tool select this corner point and drag it down now let's change the color you can select you can do multiple selection using shift key like this and from swatches you can pick the color you can make it more darker by sliding the color here like this now select this and transfer the same color here for that we need to take this eyedropper tool and click over this select this and this from here you can choose different color for this one you can apply this same color and our logo is ready now now let us save this logo in png24 transparent so that we can apply mockup to it and give a realistic look to our logo for that go to file export and save for web here make sure you mark png24 and transparency is marked and save it so here give any name and save it after saving your logo in PNG24 transparent format, we need to open the Photoshop software to apply the mockup and create a realistic look to our logo. So once you open the mockup file and the transparent logo in Photoshop, now double click at the top layer of the mockup and drag our transparent logo over the new tab of the mockup and leave it here make the size bigger by using alt key and drag it mark it unmark this background close the tab yes and wait for the mockup to be applied now let's check the realistic view and here is the final result uh, if you like this tutorial then you can subscribe graphic island for more updates and see you next video have a nice day